Well, hello, my name is Diego Lizarazo, and this is another video on my tower defense series of the game dev adventures. Um, like I said before, uh, most of these videos, well, you can see directly on Twitch that I'm doing, but also I'm beginning to upload them, uh, all of them, on my YouTube channel, and I'm going to be putting like even more details there, more links, and you're going to have the entire series there. So just <clears throat> check my YouTube there and also check my templates that uh, you see there the moving the moving link over there now uh, today I just want to uh, basically address something that is not exactly related to the uh, tower defense but I think it was interesting or really important to do and uh, it has to do with the number of events so the last the last project that we created uh, I added this generic template that, that I was using just to be able to to give it a chance of have um, well basically a, a full rounded game so you have uh, a splash screen that you can tell that I was using for another game you have credits you also have um, then the start immediately you have uh, pause and resume system and also the, the a way to quit and go back to the main screen and then to start again etc etc so like lots of small e uh, uh, items that that are going to make your game a game not just a, a demo so that's all good and great and at this point we have something similar to what you would have in a, in, a, in an actual tower defense I guess I have to make this uh, a little bigger um, but the big problem that we're going to have is the number of events so if you do have uh, a free version of Construct 2 you have a limit of a hundred events so I do have a, a paid version so I can create more than than a hundred events but I wanted uh, this tower defense to be available for everyone and at the end even with all the modifications that I'm planning to do I would love if everyone is able to just uh, use this template and well create your own tower defense that's the entire point so I am going to show you something how I would start to cut down you see that right now I'm at 99 events uh, how to cut down the number of events and uh, I, the rest I'm just going to do it offline it's going to take me quite some time and I don't really want to bore you so I'm just going to show you how to do it and for the next video, quite likely, I am just going to show you how many events we have now, and and well, hopefully it works. So uh, let me close some of this. So uh, quite likely, the first thing that I'm going to do is to start eliminating a lot of things that I don't really need. Uh, but that's not everything. Uh, this is a trick that I show you directly in one of my other. Uh, videos, I think I call it like uh, tricks with construct two or construct two tricks. So that's that's something that that well you can follow there in a lot of detail. But uh, I'm going to show you the basics here. So let me see. I just want to find the correct graphic. Um, okay, so let's go for base pack items and one of this. I don't have it. Oh interesting okay well if, if not I'm just going to use one of this I'm just going to use the gold the golden coin okay so one of the things that you're going to have here is that uh, the, the global variables they count as an event and also things like this the the include of another of another uh, spreadsheet or, well a spreadsheet I'm, I'm talking event sheet uh, that's also going to count as one event. So, for example, right now we're at 99. I'm going to add another variable, and variable one. Now we're at 100. And if I add another one, I'm going to be at 101. So, at this point, if you were in a free version, it would tell you, like, hey, you cannot do this, and, and it's not going to let you to add that. So, I'm going to say yes. And, um, I'm going to eliminate this one too, and there you go. So, 
the main trick that I'm going to, well, first, at some point, I'm going to start eliminating things that I don't need. That's going to be a quite interesting number of events. But really, the trick is going to eliminate the, uh, the global variables. So to do that, I am going to go, especially for the game, that's where we're going to have. So I'm going to go for level one. I'm going to add another element. In this case, I'm going to use the golden coin that we have here. And I'm going to make it much bigger. And that's it. And I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to say uh, bar container. container. So the trick is that uh, you have then a limit of the number of global variables that you can add. But you don't really have much of a limit, or at least it doesn't count, when you're talking about the uh, instance variables. Oh, where is it? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? I was here, right? Mm. OK. I don't know exactly what happened. Mm. So well, I'm going to add it again. I don't know exactly what happened. to rename it so bar quite likely is somewhere else container 2 container and it's not going to let me so I don't know what happened bar container so okay there you go so um, I have it here so when you do have instance variables you can add as many as you want so that's why I'm adding another element and I'm making it quite visible but out of the layout so we can put as many variables as we want here so let's go and check for example I can go and say uh, level level so I'm going to go here I'm going to add a bar, uh, another behavior an instance variable and it's going to be called level okay and I think the initial value that we had here was one so that's it so the thing is that now I could go and try to eliminate this. The problem is that we have references to level in many places. So what I'm going to do, since I'm still in the paid version, is going to look for everything that says level and I'm going to change it uh, instead of making reference to the global variable to make reference to the variable that we have here in the bar container. So I'm going to show you next level to one add one I don't know exactly uh, so it's looking for everything that includes level not just the level so waves per level mm. okay well this one I know that I don't need it uh, well what happens if I do this so yes it changed I'm not entirely certain if that worked. Okay, so uh, I do know that, well, waves created. So that's a better example. So um, let's clear search waves created. So I'm going to copy the same name and I'm going to add it here. So now I can filter for them so it's much less and here so this is a good example so now um, so in this case we're comparing like a uh, variables a global variable but then we don't want that so I'm just going to add another condition and I'm going to say instead of comparing variables I'm going to compare two values and in this case I'm going to say bar container dot waves created equals waves per level that is still what I'm going to eliminate later but uh, but it works so you see that basically uh, I'm still also asking about waves created but instead of using the global variable what I'm con uh, I'm asking is the the instance variable that we have here so then I could delete this one and I could do something similar I'm even going to copy it here to uh, do this and waves created waves per level well it's basically the same thing uh, waves created so for example here instead of uh, adding to this one I would just go 
var container add to uh, we've created one so you see that instead of adding to the global variable I'm adding to the variable that we have in our with create uh, bar container so I just can delete it um, at this point oh okay I think it did something wrong I was doing this one yes okay you see this one was minus less than okay so I'm quite likely then I messed it up also with this one yes it was less than there you go when I do these changes I have to pay attention to what I'm doing otherwise I'm going to end up making a mess mm, so there you go then I'll have to recreate it basically that's going to be the entire trick I don't know exactly how many uh, elements I'm going to be able to to eliminate but if you can pay attention here I have one two three So these are just 13 global variables that we could eliminate here. So immediately we would uh, decrease this one to 86. And I think in the global variable bars that we had here, we had a one, two, nine. So nine, so that would be almost 22. So we would uh, decrease already to 77. So that uh, gives us a lot of space to, to work around. The other thing that I'm going to do then quite likely is to eliminate these includes uh, or at least as, ma as many as I can and since the high score there's a new system to work with construct 2 I am just going to eliminate that and quite likely it's going to uh, decrease the number of, of events that we have. From now on there's a good chance that what I'm going to do is to use one of these one of these two files the the one with the uh, bar container um, to keep the next videos growing but I, I am going to keep two versions one with the bar container one without the bar container so the one with the bar container obviously is going to be for people that have free versions of construct uh, the other one is perhaps going to be more readable and more maintainable because we have all this uh, entire production that I put here but uh, well like I said it's a little bit of an effort additional effort for me but I think it's going to be really cool because then everyone is going to be able to have access to the entire game so well like I said this one was more like an announcement instead of and you can tell you can check an, an entire video on how I use this trick to reduce the number of events that I use on, the, on any given game uh, but this is not going to change much uh, the, the normal behavior that you have on um, on your on your tower defense game so well I hope that you like it and, and like every single time just let me know if you like what I'm doing and have a great day